Most delegates at the UN General Assembly expected President Robert Mugabe to launch a fiery attack on his arch enemies on the world stage. When the veteran Zimbabwean leader took to the podium, he didn't let them down. His speech was peppered with references to President Bush. He has much to atone for and very little to lecture us on the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. His hands drip with the innocent blood of many nationalities, and today with the blood of the Iraqis. But he still kills. He kills in Iraq, he kills in Afghanistan, and this is supposed to be our master on human rights. The United Kingdom was not spared by Mr. Mugabe with references to Britain ignoring international law when it attacked Iraq. The president's outburst came just one day after this. In Zimbabwe, ordinary citizens suffer under a tyrannical regime. The government has cracked down on peaceful calls for reform and forced millions to flee their homeland. To the people in Zimbabwe, the war of words in New York must have seemed a long way away. Food shortages, record inflation and unemployment are the main day-to-day -day concerns. But the governing ZANU-PF party has just passed a bill ordering foreign-owned businesses such as mines and banks to be controlled by Zimbabweans. What little foreign investment is left there will be squeezed out even further. Greg Marsbach, BBC News.